Hey guys, what's up? It's Sarah Jane. Thank you for coming back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to show you guys a video of Tony and I comparing stories of our first date. Um, our anniversary was on Wednesday. <laughs> Seven years together. Yeah. Pain in the butt. Right. Uh, but we are happy and getting married. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, this video was recorded on our anniversary. Um, we went to Olive Garden and we went and saw a movie. It was nice. So I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, Tony. So what do you recall of our first date? Well, uh, I remember inviting you just to go out and see a movie. But I honestly, I did mean, I did mean that we just go out as friends. To be honest, that I had no real ulterior motive to begin with. What? And then when we just started hanging around, we just started talking and everything else. And I just thought to myself, like, I'm actually enjoying this. I'm enjoying this a lot more than I've ever had going out with anybody. And then that's when I realized, like, hey, did I seriously think that? That I just said we're going out? Probably now. <laughs> now is a good time to even say something. Probably not. And then we just hanged around the mall for a bit. Then we went to go see the movie. And I thought to myself, should I risk it? I mean, if I risk it, she's going to slap me. <laughs> <laughs> so I risked it. And look where we are now. Is that all you remember? Is that all you can remember? Think of uh, yeah, I do apologize. I don't re exactly remember all the fine details. So it's okay. I remember a lot more than that. Um, so Tony graduated a year before me. I graduated high school a year before me, and we hadn't seen each other in about a year. I was having a hard summer that year, um, so we were talking and. I decided I had actually gotten out of a serious relationship um, like in the beginning of the summer and I decided I wasn't going to um, commit to any guys or women or anything for, <laughs> for a while. I asked him if he wanted to just hang as friends and he said, well you pick a time because every time I pick a time someone else falls through. I'm like, okay. Something else. Close. Yeah. I was like, okay. Um, what about the second day back to school? After after classes? Are you good with that? He's like, yeah. So, um, when I saw him, we ran up and hugged each other. I got all excited and, and ran and hugged him. I remember that now. I literally thought it was like, eh, I'm just going to say hi. And next thing you know, I get floor. I get <laughs> You were with, with Seth, hugs. too. You and Seth were walking down the hallway at MCC uh, in, like, the glass hallway. And I was just like, Tony! <laughs> and I gave him a big hug. I'm like, hi! He's like, oh, hey, hey. <laughs> we then went to the mall. Um, I had talked to him about all of my hardships the whole summer and he listened and I didn't have a lot of guys listen to me back then even that serious relationship uh, didn't really listen when I had problems and he just he would sit there and listen we started holding hands at some point I don't even remember how that happened but we started holding hands as we were walking we were in that mall for like three hours just walking and he stops, like mid-walk, because we weren't planning on going to a movie. He stops mid-walk and looks at me and goes, you want to go to a movie with me? Now remember, I said that I wasn't going to date anyone. In I my mind, it was in my mind that I was not going to date anyone. I think it was right there when I was like, did I seriously think that we're dating? <laughs> I was like, uh, 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 he goes, oh no, as friends, my treat. I'm like, Okay, sure, why not? So we got to the movie theater, we bought the tickets, it was for um, Expendables, Expendables 2. 2. And we were there like an hour before the movie. <laughs> and it said no loitering, so we literally walked up and down. It was in Fox Lake, so we literally walked up and down um, 
like that little strip mall area and talked. We just talked. And when they finally were seating people, we went and sat down. He wrapped his arm around me and I got goosebumps for the first time since this serious relationship. And he tickled me. And I hit him and said, I'll be right back. I gotta go to the bathroom. Went into the bathroom, paced back and forth like a crazy woman, going, no, Sarah, you swore off men. You weren't gonna do this anymore. <laughs> but the tingle, no, Sarah, don't do it. But there's butterflies too. Sarah, stop. So finally, I got to the point where I went back and sat back down next to him. He wrapped his arm around me again. I went, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. We looked at each other and he kissed me. Longer than most kisses that I've ever had. And I went, oh, what, what, what just happened? Like I was completely <laughs> overthrown. I was like, what? <laughs> He pulled away from me and went, oh, the movie's starting. <laughs> right as the movie was starting. This was right after the trailers had ended and the movie was starting. I'm like, but, but, but he's like, shh, movie's starting. And we just watched the movie once in a while. He'd kiss me again. And I was just, I was so confused. So the movie ended and we got uh, to the car and he made out with me a little more because it's Tony being in the butt. <laughs> and I was like, so what does this mean? Are, like, are we together now? And he said, look, I know you just got out of something serious. I don't want anyone to have a reputation for you. I don't want anyone thinking anything differently of you. I really like you and I do want to date you, but I think we should take this slow and not tell anyone for a couple months. I, I said... I really wanted to be sure that it was okay at first. That's That was the thing, you know? I said, okay, fine. I, I agree with that, that's, that's okay. I will tell my mom though, because she's overly protective and she needs to know. A, a month into the relationship, we were in drama club, and there were some people starting to join, but two of the girls were like flirting with him and all over him. So I pulled him aside at the end, I'm like, no, we need to tell people now. He's like, that's only been a month. I'm like, I know, I love you for it, but we gotta tell people now. So we, he didn't understand that girls were flirting with him. To be honest. Most I, guys don't. I didn't notice at all. So we told people and we announced it. But our real anniversary is August 21st, 2012. Uh, there, there's a lot of memories that I have and that first date is one that I've held in my mind for a long time. I didn't even know what all he remembered, so I'm making this video because I was curious about what he remembered. Apparently it was just as vague as his high school days. So... I do apologize, memory's not hasn't been doing as good. It's kind of interesting that you only remember the basics of it, but now you know. Now you know more than that. Mm -hmm. Though, I, granted, I'm at least glad that I remembered when it was, what we did, and what movie we saw. So at least I remember all of those Well, and tell, tell them how, how long your longest relationship was before me. I mean, most of those, re most longest relationship I had prior to you was not always been three months. Three months, seven years, I win. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any crazy stories about your relationships and you want to share, come put it in the comments below. Um, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Also, she cut my hair today. I really did. Good. I cut his hair today. Bye guys.